there is evident rupture between the doctrine, the discipline, and the liturgy of the Church as it existed before Vatican II and the reforms introduced by the Council. But, can evil and error proceed from a Church that claims to be divinely instituted? I say to thee that thou art Peter, and upon this rock I will build my Church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. If the Vatican II reforms do in fact proceed from divine authority, then we must conclude that the gates of hell have prevailed against the Church. Our faith cannot accept such a conclusion. We believe in an indefectible church. Indefectibility is the property of the church, given to it by Christ, by which it will remain in that unchanged state until the end of time, just as Christ has founded it. Our faith rejects Vatican II and its reforms, because neither evil nor error able to proceed from a church instituted for the purpose of leading us to heaven by means of true doctrine and salutary laws.